You maybe you got ghosted, took an L, but you could still be a lady if you have five to 14 bodies. Now let's define it. You're too trustworthy or too naive <laughs> if you've gotten tricked by 14 guys. Subscribe to this channel. In case you are watching this channel, I have not subscribed. What up guys? Welcome to the Judge Curly Things YouTube channel and welcome to my whiteboard videos. Today, I am going to go over the hierarchy of before I start Girl has enough money to where she could get a setup to where she doesn't have an echo. Sorry, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Same, man. I, I need to figure out how to get that fucking thing because every single YouTuber has that same damn insert and I don't have that shit. There's a fucking gnat in here. Notification bell that way you're going to be notified of my daily videos. So, this last week, I decided that I wanted to know more about nice ladies and wifey material. Oh, I forgot to add one. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. Ladies and wifey material. So, this week we did a show where we really wanted to define the terms because a lot of men out there cannot define what's a whore, what's a slut, what's a whore, the women. It's like, what is this? Audio so like bad on this video. In 2023, you go by a historical point of view, 95% of women would be. However, we are in 2023, so we got to adapt to the time. So I, I surveyed some men to see what they thought. The definition that we came up with was a whore, someone that has sex for money or does slutty things for money. <clears throat> a slut is someone that does, does it for it no for money. Sex, and a hoe, someone that does it for attention. So mm. we went through some scenarios as a class. Okay. Yeah. So, a as I was wondering, I was I was looking at the words and I was thinking, man, ho, whore, slut, and hoe all seem like the damn th damn near same thing to me. But that's how I would use those words if I was using them. Is if I would say she's a hoe, she's doing it for attention, and I don't really say whore that much, but I I would I would assume that it's for money. Slut, yeah, it makes sense that they just do it for themselves and for free. So yeah, I, I, I would say I agree with that. Let me know what y'all think. Is an OnlyFans worker, a stripper, a f or an escort? I think I spelled that. Dirty whore. Never mind that. Now, a slut is a woman who cheats on her boyfriend. One cheats on her boyfriend one night stands. Okay. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that whenever I was saying that slut makes sense to do it if you are doing it for yourself for free. But, well, I guess, I guess even with my point too, yeah, if you're just fucking everybody for yourself, then yeah, you're a slut. But then again, I don't know, because I, I have, I'm not a woman, so I don't know exactly what the fuck they feel and shit, but I know that most women just don't like to have sex, at least, at least pointless sex. But I do know that there are some, and to classify them as sluts just seems a little disrespectful because, I mean, if, if that's just what they want to do, then that's what they should be allowed to do, obviously. But it still isn't something that is admirable because there's no work in doing it as a woman. You literally don't have to do anything. <laughs> You can literally go lay on your back on a sidewalk with your legs spread and by the end of the day someone will be fucking you <laughs> it, is, it is not that hard uh but if you're in a relationship and you cheat on your boyfriend and okay so she did say one night stand so yeah okay yeah 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 because what's she doing it for next we have a hoe. now this is a girl ass pics on the gram okay mm -hmm. or 15 plus bodies now okay guys there's been a lot of dispute some guys are saying no it's way I feel like less that's just that. look it i i just ask the people i just i just report the news let me know if there's anything else we should add to the top three but that's what we got for now so I'm i could probably do about 10 15 bodies i would not want to know i don't i don't ever want to hear how many fucking bodies my girl has uh i didn't want to fucking I didn't want to know subconsciously that it's under five <laughs> or at least 10, you know, I mean, I, and it's pretty, and I know you will never know without asking, but I feel like you will be able to tell just by the woman that you're with, if they have a lot of bodies or not. Nice lady, we concluded, can have, so then we have a lady. So a lady can have roughly five to 14 bodies, okay? But she cannot have gotten a lot, man. one night stands. So no one night stands. You can only have gotten the bodies. You Maybe you got ghosted, took an L, but you could still be a lady if you have five to 14 bodies. Now let's define it. You're too trustworthy or too naive <laughs> if you've gotten tricked by 14 guys that that you that that make you that make you think that they want to stay with you 
a nice lady. Zero to five bodies is a nice lady. And wifey is a virgin, is wife material. So now that we have some definitions, what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a hierarchy of now back to you what the mark is. Don't shoot the messenger, okay ladies? All right, so here we have the least desirable, here we have the most desirable and most rare. So what is gonna go on the least desirable level in terms of sluttiness? This is the hierarchy of whore though. All right, mm, so at the hold bottom- Hold on, let me think. So there's slut, whore, and slut, whore, and ho. Um, the bottom level is, the, she said the bottom level is the worst. If the bottom level is the worst, um, I feel like if you're just having sex, I feel like slut's the worst. If you're just having sex, well, it's not the worst. For for me as a man and a dating wise, a slut is 100% the worst because you're just doing it. Well, you're all for one, you could be cheating on me. And for two, you like sex so damn much that you just will sleep with anybody. Um, and then it would probably go, what was ho? Ho was for, ho was for attention. So uh, slut has to be the worst. And then... Or I guess because you're you kind of have no self respect if you're selling your body, it'd be either who or ho next. Uh, I would I think ho is still pretty bad, like but it's not as bad as selling your pussy. Bottom we have hookers. Now there's many names for these ladies: hookers, um, escort, escorts, um, street walkers, night walkers. But at the end of the day, they're selling for money. Okay. Above hookers, we have stars now because they're not just straight selling sex they have less partners but yeah okay above hookers no. I, yeah okay i i agree with that yeah i was thinking like a hooker and a, a porn star is a prostitute if if we're being technical um but it is like you are checked to be clean you're only sleeping with men that you approve and um it's all like being watched and you know it's not as desperate only fans ladies you're not at the bottom but you're not far from it you're just above hookers, porn stars then only fans. depends on what Next you're doing on your only fans because there's a lot of porn stars on only fans stripper can go on to live a normal life because there's no maybe she didn't sell sex for money i mean we all know what goes on in the strip clubs but maybe she just stripped so then now this is the most disputed one. i asked the men what's worse would you rather take a single mother or a woman with a high body count now we mm. all know that there's mm. single mothers with high Ooh, i'd say neither <laughs> um if i had to choose though how old is the kid <laughs> if the kids if the kids are young and the mom's understanding that I will be the damn father and that I would never do anything to harm the child and every single thing that I do will be for the best interest of the child and the mom doesn't have to fucking guard me like like a second parent, then I would probably do the single mom. Because a high body count comes with a lot of emotional baggage and a lot of trauma and a lot of just... A lot of, a lot of bullshit. Whenever a single mom, it could have been just a, a first baby daddy and then he died or something, you know? That, that's another thing, if the baby daddy's in the picture or not. The baby daddy's in the picture depends on how the fuck he behave. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of uh ins and outs to what I would choose, but I'm probably gonna go with uh single mama. My body count, like we all know, but I, I said you have to pick and the men picked drum roll please. High body count. If you yeah. sleep with too many people, you are barely better than a strip. Now, what number this is is very disputed across the board. Um, I, I've heard numbers like around 25 it switches. They'd rather take a single mom. I've had some guys say 10. I've had some guys say 30. I don't know when it switches exactly for men, but let's just say somewhere between 15 to 30, they'll take the kid over the body. Don't shoot the messenger. Now remember, if you have both, but if you just have a kid and not the body count, slightly above the board, but not by much. I mean, ho. these are ho. maybe slow. What's wrong with her audio? And remember, bubble of ladies are mid body count. So again, I've had some dispute, but what I've gotten is like five to like 15 roughly men will take that over the kid but it switches around there then we also depends on their age um i'm assuming that this is probably being asked for young women like 23 and young younger if you have over five bodies at 23 um you either are dumb 
<laughs> or you're a hoe because i don't see how you can i don't see how you can sleep with that many men i don't know 23 I get, I guess it's understandable, but I just would assume I would want my woman to have more self-respect and more of a guard up to who she has sleep with her. We have low body count, which nowadays is like under 10, under five. It, again, please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just repeating back what I've been told. And at the top, virgin, virgins. So this is the hierarchy of boredom from least slutty to most slutty. Uh, let me know if there's I, anything I forgot, guys. I honestly agree with most of the things that were said in that video. I don't think I did. I, actually, I don't think I did disagree with anything. Uh, I agree with almost all of that. And honestly, kind of a kind of uh, uh, what? What would you say? An interesting video, I guess. <laughs> I, I had fun. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about this shit. I had fun uh, breaking it down into whatever kind of math she was doing. Uh, but let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you guys would change anything with what she said. Let me know if you, uh, let me know any different perspectives on anything that she might have said. Mm, but as of right now, I think, I think she hit the fucking nail on the head. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be the end of that video. Please leave a like. If you guys got anything to say about the video, let me know down below. You don't read every single comment. And if you fuck with your boy, will you please give me a subscription? With that said, deuces. As far as my pill goes, what he don't know, he can't prove. So I've been drinking and fucking off Molly, finessing bad bitches all in the party. She so turned up, she been vibing the Cardi. She so fucked up, so I know she can't ride me. So I'm a fucking ambassador to Brody. No, she a thought by the shit that she told me. After I fuck, no little bitch, you can't hold me. Been in the game, so that nigga.